All right, if you like kicking off a warm spring night with some fresh cocktails, you're about to get some great suggestions. Daryl Robinson, also known as Dr. Mixologist, he told me he has a PhD in mixology, is the host of the Cooking Channel's Drink Up. Great to have you with us. Thank you, Dr. Me. Mixology, I'll hey. go formal here with you. So what do we have? What are we making here today? You know, it's springtime. Spring has sprung. We're using lots of fresh herbs and fresh fruits because they are bursting with flavor. And to get us started, we're using flavored vodka. Flavored one, vodka. Yeah, exactly. This is a Sobieski Citron, and it is really, really, smell that. Smell oh, the it's fresh fragrant, lemon. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So the first drink we're going to make is a white mint Collins. Okay. This is real simple. Normally what we do is muddle some lemon at the bottom of the glass. Okay. And I'm going to get you to do that. Sure. Go ahead. Why don't you give it a little Just muddle. Just the lemon on its There you own. go. Mints are bursting with fragrance right now. So yeah. all we're going to do is smack it. You don't have to smack muddle. Smack it. Smell that. Nice. Poppy. The smack really yeah, brought it, it out. Really brought it out. We're going to use some ice on top of that. Um, this ice? Yes. Is this okay? That's good. That's good. Let's, let's pour that in. Okay. It's going to get about an ounce and a half of citron. We're going to add a little bit more lemon to it. Gotcha. It's going to get about another ounce of simple syrup. This is just simple a syrup. simple sh syrup is sugar and water, half and half uh, proportions. We're going to shake it. That's you your shake? job. Let, Are let, you let, serious? Let you I don't know about this. Oh, there you go. That's good. That's good. Could get dangerous in here. Perfect, perfect. Well, that's good. <laughs> now we're going to pour it in the glass right here. And what I made prior to starting are a couple of these cocktails in the front. But just to show the people at you home top how it eat, off with some champagne. It. This is Prosecco. Prosecco. By Bartolomeo. There we go. And now the taste test. There, Cheers. There we go. Cool. Oh, that's Minty, great. It's fresh. really fresh, not too sweet either. Exactly. I like that. Cool. All right, what do we have next? Coming down, we're going to move to a nice champagne sparkling cocktail. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going to use a little bit of ice in this. This one, you don't have to muddle because the raspberries will break down when you shake it across the oh, ice. Oh, they're, they're okay. uh, more fragile fruit. Exactly. This is a really, really hot liqueur right now. It's called St. Germain, which is an elderflower liqueur. Mm -hmm. It's also going to get a little bit of raspberry vodka. Okay. I think I've done enough work. I think it's your turn to shake <laughs> again. Shaker. Here you After go. After the first one, I don't there know. There you go. So the elderflower, it's on the more, slightly more expensive side, but it's really a hot thing but this you, summer, you right? But you use so little of it, this bottle will probably go maybe 35, 40 drinks. 35, okay. Exactly. There you go. Okay, I'll take over here. The doctor will take over okay. now. Okay, here we go. About an ounce and a half of the mixture in here, and then we're going to top it again with... Uh, Prosecco. Prosecco. Not champagne, yeah. Prosecco. Prosecco, exactly. Which actually keeps the price down a little bit on these drinks. You know, Prosecco bubbles are smaller than champagne bubbles, so therefore it allows the taste to, you know, cover your mouth. Thank you. Champagne kind of overwhelms. Cover my mouth. Exactly. Interesting. There you go. Cheers. Here we go. Another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one. There you that go. That one's on the sweeter side, but I do like if it. If you like Bellinis, that's the perfect okay. drink for you over here. All right, we got to get to this one because we are running out of time. Okay, here we go. We're going to put a little Campari in this one. Campari is like an aperitif. It's like before, after dinner, great little, um, you know, thing to have on your uh, palate. Mm -hmm. We're going to put orange in there like that. Uh, we, made, we made a couple of cocktails. All right. They can go to the website and check out these yes, recipes. Yes, absolutely. But the first thing about this is that we use... Smell these herbs. Rosemary. What is this? This is rosemary. Rosemary, rosemary. So that really makes it an interesting exactly. flavor. Exactly. That warm and peppery scent that you get and going with the uh, Campari on the top, wonderful digestive. Daryl Robinson, thanks yes. so much for being with us.